hello everybody my name is eep and this is the yamak server um and um i mean i haven't been back to my farm area in, in a few days but something seems to have changed i do not remember putting this here the building inspector <laughs> the building inspector hereby condemns this property under the arbitrary building regulation just made up by the said building inspector. Please see the regulation notices. <laughs> Thank you, building inspector. So let's see. Where is the roof? I, I am aware that I do not currently have it. It's a flat roof. It's it's um it's a wonderful flat roof area. And that's I didn't put these here. I I bought your end up so <laughs> bad. <laughs> rules. What is this? 2013? <laughs> it's my starter base. It was very basic materials. I do need ender pearls though, because I am forever leaving. Um, I'm forever breaking ender chests and leaving them places and things. Uh, okay, I've just got a few things over here still to take over. It's my my farms. Tiny pen. It is indeed a tiny pen because I only keep backup cows and a random sheep in there. Floating tree. Oh well, that one wasn't my fault. There were creepers. There were. There were. There was multiple creepers. What is this building material? It's what I had in stock at the time. Need hiding somewhere or at least building around it. What, you don't like how it just juts out of the um out of the landscape that's besides i thought, I thought this was building inspector this isn't a building it's just a random a random farm oh here's another one over here <laughs> this is almost pretty really because it was just pure function so yeah this almost pretty i can assure you that was purely accidental But what I actually came over here to do was to see how many resources I have to do another layer of my sugarcane farm. Not this one, the automated one up there. Oh, there's another sign. <laughs> I think you forgot to put a building around this. I'm not putting a building, it's huge. I'm not putting a building around this whole thing. Any more signs or, or is this bit, this is all purely functional. This is just my farms. Uh, there's my creeper farm. That should be this one. Okay. And there's, I've got a little bit of sugar cane, but not much. I need to up my sugar cane farm so that it's a, a reasonable pace with the, with the gunpowder. I don't mind having a little bit of excess of one or the other because you can always use them for other things and I can always add more layers to my creeper farm as well but right now what I need to do is find what I've done with all my materials and add to my sugarcane farm let's see I have mat some materials okay I'm going to put another layer on here and see how I get by yeah, I've got some observers and things. Yep, I think that's everything. All right, I think I'm good to go. So I'll go do that and see you in a bit. So here's my progress so far. Um, I've added a second layer to some of my area of my sugarcane farm. And I think it's coming along quite nicely, but I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update on that. And here we can see um, I've built up quite a lot of more layers now. I am getting a bit of loss, but, you know, it's mostly good. Um, and I've got loads of space left, so I can just carry on building for as long as I have some redstone materials. And that shrooms all the way up there. Loads and loads of red shulker boxes full to the brim of rockets, which I'm going to be selling for. Uh, maybe a diamond block each I think would be good to go for. 
I found a doggy. Oh, he my friend. Oh, come be my friend. Oh, yay, I got a little doggy friend. So I've got my doggy and I have done an update to the sugarcane farm. So now I'm going to go and create a bit of storage over at my base because I need somewhere to put all this stuff now. And I'm going to dig out this bit of cavern here and put all my storage in it. So yay! Oh, it's going to be so good. It's going to be really nice to actually get all my things organised and sorted. Um, and it's going to be right next to where my current little base is. So I've just got a little hidey hole here. Oh, it's getting dark. It's got a little hidey hole here. So let's go sleeps. <laughs> all the sleep sing. Uh, and here's my little hidey hole. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Ah, they can see through glass. I didn't think they could do that. Excuse me. I I do not need any cold callers around here, thank you. Do be gone. Be gone. Ah. Oh. Shoot. Shoot. Why why is what's with the love hearts? Why why are they really enjoying me hitting them? That's confusing. I've got my beacon and I've dug a whole load out and look at all the chests I've got so far and some item frames in them. Um, so yeah, I just need to do some more of that and do some more down this side here. Do you know what's really amazing? Oh, this is so cool. This is so amazing. This is so brilliant because um, I actually can't do this on bedrock. Look, look, look. I changed the colour of the die on of, of the thing on on oh you have no idea how amazing that is in bedrock you can't do that you just get the dark letters on the dark signs and you can't do that this is amazing this is so so cool totally worth moving to java for i've got both sides done i've brought all my things over so you can see I just have such a random bunch of stuff um, and I've organised it a little bit so I know roughly where everything's going. So let's just say, yeah, so I've got space for all my different like big things um, and I've got a few things in mind. So, yeah, my redstone, my wood, all sorts of things like that. And and hopefully this will be enough storage. And if not, then I can move. I can dig loads more, and I can dig outwards as well for when I want to put filters and things in. And that's why like having an expandable storage was really important to me. So yeah, not too shabby. And now I've put everything away. And as you can see, I've made a few alterations. So my to sort area is a bit smaller now. I've used up some of the gaps in between the areas and I've got rid of the signs. So I know roughly where things are. So yeah, I'm really quite chuffed with that. That's pretty cool. So yay! All my storage, I have a lot less things than I thought I did. That's pretty embarrassing. Uh, I'm flying over to our spawn area, our community area, where the spawn point is supposed to be. I just need to find it. And here it is. So T has made this really wonderful tower and I am going to terraform underneath it to make a pathway. Um, so I'm kind of inspired by some of the places I've visited where you get these this really naturalistic pathway leading up to something. So I want to go with something a bit a bit natural, something that looks like it's only had a little bit of interference. Um, and all this bit underneath I'm going to be encapsulating and, and lighting up. Um, so it's just going to look like this is on top of this whole solid tower. And then we've got space for inside if we need anything. Um, and then hopefully that will be really cool. Um, I seem to have made a bit of a mob farm. But this is my path so far but yep um that this is supposed to be a nice welcoming area for newbies and i'm not entirely convinced that that's the appropriate welcoming committee that we want but 
but here I am. I've started at the top and I'm going down and around. Uh, and this is going to be the pathway leading up to the entrance of the tower. But yeah, I should probably do something about that. I have finished the main pathway. It still needs a lot more work, but I just wanted to get the basic sort of shape down to then work on that. And you've got some really nice views going up. I love that you can see the sea. There's so many different biomes in this area. It's really nice. You can get all sorts of views. Of course, you can you can jump up there if you want. But, you know, there's a nice path. Lovely pathway all the way along. So this is the inside of our tower. And it's all very, very exciting. And what's even more exciting is we've got a new player going to be joining us. It's all very, very exciting, except we seem to have mislaid our, our new player. Ray is not here. Is, is she up there? No. She, um... Oh, this isn't good. We seem to have, um... We seem to have lost our new player. Um... We've got a whole big tower waiting and everything, and apparently that's not where people are spawning in. <laughs> oh, where is she? <laughs> Look, I got a little birdie friend. A doggy friend and a birdie friend. Oh, no. oh, oh don't dodge. What are you doing? Don't. Oh, no, no. Too late. I was going to try and rescue him. Anyway, I have a birdie friend. He's so cute. So I have started decorating the pathway with some slabs. So now you can run up it all without having to jump. And I just thought that that would make it nice, a lot easier. And again, this is, I wanted that natural feel with just like that little bit of interference where you can see that someone has come along to make it easier to climb up but still respected the natural feel of it. And here is the finished article. So I've got some vines that are all going to be growing and I've bone mealed it a little bit. I've put some pebbles, like some buttons in place to give it a bit more of a rustic feel. And, um, and I'm really chuffed with it. So this is like, I don't terraform very often. I have put some lighting behind some of the leaves, as you can see there. Um, so yeah i'm really quite pleased with that considering how it started out so now you can actually walk up to the tower it also turns out we've had a bit of a problem if you're not um an admin which generally t and i don't actually keep our admin powers on um while we're playing day to day but it turns out that if you don't have them you can't actually interact with anything around spawn as in like literally you can't even open the doors or the chests or anything um, so we're going to have to move spawn point to somewhere else um, and sort something out. So this is still going to be like the community hub. But yeah, spawn's going to have to be somewhere. Um, so that was an interesting learning curve because, yeah, we don't normally keep the operator powers ourselves. We normally just keep those on the camera accounts. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you liked that. Um, I had great fun terraforming and making this path. I'm really pleased with it. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. And bye-bye.